South African breweries has launched an eight-pack of iconic beers from seven different countries right across the continent. It plans to export these to global markets to consumers as far afield as the United States, Europe and China, so that you can enjoy these unique pints. Uh, the first edition pack includes Castle Lager, St. Louis, Maluti Premium Lager, uh, 2M, Narencia Preta, Manika, Kilimanjaro Premium Lager, which is a huge hit across the board in Tanzania, and Zambezi Premium Lager as well. Here's Angelo Coppola with more. It's part of an ambitious Africa strategy developed by the new AB InBev regional president. And this change in focus is due to a number of reasons. It's the last frontier in many ways. South African breweries, SAB, uh, in concert with Castel, have done extremely well in Africa and cover something like 44 out of 54 African countries. Trying to penetrate much more in Africa at this point in time, given the economic dynamics that are currently pervading the continent, which are not good at this point in time, particularly in the West Coast, is going to be very, very difficult indeed. South Africa, on the other hand, still has some potential. And in terms of growth, uh, we always believe that growth starts with consumers, right? We have uh, great opportunities in terms of demographics here in, in South Africa. We have a much lower per capita than the average world beer per capita consumption. We have many people coming to legal drink age in the next five to ten years and we really expect to using and reforcing our portfolio with global brands but also developing local mainstream brands bringing new choices to consumers in terms of packs and occasions i think that growth will naturally come the challenge facing the brewer is not so simply solved when looking outside of the continent so to try and take african brands which are completely unknown into new markets, I think is a very, very dangerous and difficult strategy. There's no doubt about it, they can take the very well-known brands like um, Stella Artois and Bex and put those into Africa. But taking African brands and taking them out into the wider world is, is, is a very, very ambitious move, I think, in my opinion. We have to make sure that we have a perfect logistics because once we get to different markets across the world, we have to make sure that we deliver according to the demand. So we have to make sure that we have a perfect logistics uh, and we have to guarantee the quality of this product for a longer period. South African and African beers are soon going to be available on the continent and in the rest of the world. And people will start to understand how delicious these beers actually are. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg.